What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. You know what that means. It is time to learn how to pitch with one of the best starting pitchers in MLB The Show 24. This week, we're learning how to pitch with Roy Oswalt. Roy Oswalt didn't look like anything special to me, but someone in the Twitch chat said that he's been cooking with him. So I was like, you know what? Let's give him a go. So we're going to take it in the rank seasons where we're on low level all star right now. So things could get hairy. If for some reason our opponent quits out, we'll take him into the event. If you're new to this series, every single week I take a pitcher in the game and I teach you how to sequence, how to get out. So you'll see every single pitch I throw in whatever type of game mode I'm playing. You won't see any at bats. This is all about the pitching and the goal is to make you a better pitcher. All right, let's go check out Roy Oswalt and get into a game. Here is the homie Roy Oswalt. He's a 90 overall. You get him for collecting the Astros. So that was actually the last American League team I needed to collect. I have completed the AL, halfway through completing the NL, but all the beefy expensive boys are left. So it's going to be a minute. But I digress. Roy Oswalt has a four-seamer, a sinker. They are of very similar pitch speeds, which normally I don't like, but we'll see what happens. 12-6 curve. That is really slow really really slow we are using that as a deceptive chase me in the dirt type of pitch we are not i repeat we are not intentionally throwing that in the zone because it's going to get hammered sliders pretty good change-ups all right decent pitch mix i think what makes roy usable is his funky delivery it's a little bit different and the ball kind of seems to explode out of his hand when you take a look at his attributes, his attributes are actually really solid for where we're at in the year. Of course, he is a 90, so he is one of the higher ranked starters right now. His stamina is pretty good. His hits per nine is not bad. The K per nine is exactly the same. The controls of 83 and then BB per nine of 76 aren't horrible. On our old scale of MLB The Show 23, they were really bad. But now, in this current game, they're okay. The Velo at 95, the Break at 91 are also very solid. He's got a couple quirks, really, that are meaningless. He performs better at home, don't we all? And he's a night player, which is unfortunate. I'm probably not going to play a night game. So we'll see what happens. We'll get into a game. We'll have a blast, and I'll teach you guys how to pitch. We are a whopping 6-0 and and rated 460. Too. So we're still at the point where some of these games might get a little funny. I'm hoping that's not the case, but we got a game real quick. Let's hop on into it. Our opponent in this video is going to be, oh, it's John Donaldson. Yay. His record is 10 and 14. Oh, joy. He won't eject himself really quickly, I promise. So the key to pitching with Roy Oswalt, in my opinion, is to be throwing that sinker in on the fists or below the zone. We're trying to get ground balls or complete jam jobs. So bad connection, already off the rip, so that's a great sign. He was under that low sinker, okay. Go slider away, see if he's early. Okay, he wasn't early, he was just late. So that means he's seeing it decently, that's fine. Let's test your discipline on the changeup before we start whipping out the 12-6. Strike three, love that. So the 12-6, like I said, we're not putting that in the zone. <laughs> and we're throwing it sporadically because it's kind of a gimmick pitch. We don't want our opponent to get too comfortable seeing that. I'm going to go change up away to the lefty, hopefully get a rollover. Change up is really slow. That was right down the middle, and he stared at it, thank goodness, because he could have crushed that. Maybe we'll get this sinker inside for a called strike. That also got a lot of the plate. I'm not in love with that. Uh, back foot sliders for the boys. Who says no? Back foot sliders for the boys. This has got to be a chase pitch. Okay, the connection is maybe the worst thing I've ever seen. Um... But that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get through it. Four seam up and away. I want to see his timing. Three. Couldn't have been later. Nice sequence there. Soft stuff low and in. Hard stuff up and away. Let's go back to jamming J.D. Davis here. Nice pitch. Nice spot. All right. Roy's kind of cooking. I like it. Go slider away again until he shows me he can hit it. Okay. He's seeing it. He's not swinging too early. It was a little early, but not like crazy early. All right, let's throw the 12-6. Let's take it out of our back pocket, see what happens. Whew! And goodbye. That's how you throw the 12-6. Bury that shit in the dirt. Don't let them touch it, because it's gone if they do. Let's go try to take a lead against John Donaldson. All right, we got a leadoff homer with Bernie Williams. So a 1-0 lead. That makes me feel nice. Let's go sinker, low-ish, and away for a rollover. Right down the middle. Corey Seager! Holy, what an athletic play. All right, bad pitch, missed our location, not a big deal. That leaked back over the middle. I don't think my pinpoint was very good. But we got bailed out there because Seager smacked it down. Let's try to get a double play. Oh, that was uh, a... Oh. That was a silly hit. That one, I mean, I can't even explain what happened there. 
Was that a line drive past the pitcher? Did that hit the ground? I don't even know. Don't celebrate that, Henry. All right, now we're in a now we're in a predicament, and he's gonna bunt dance me. This co this connection is terrible. He sat back on. This is a completely different person that I played in the first inning. Wow. Okay, it's one to one. Roy Oswald's getting his getting his cheeks kicked in right now. We're gonna have to recover. That was a perfect pitch. All right, guy. All right, guy, with your bunt dancing nonsense. Nice swing. All right, slider away. He's still not on that. Let's go sinker up and in. No more runs allowed this inning. We're going to hold it right here. Change up in the dirt. If he tries to bunt, he can't hit it. Oh, I cannot believe he made contact with that, actually. 12-6er in the dirt. He chased it before. Chased it again. Okay, one out. Nice sequence. We're going to recover from that. Listen, the double by Mickey Mantle was a great hit. Perfect, perfect swing on a good pitch. The other two... Bad pinpoint and then some flukiness, so not the end of the world. All right, so he's, he's hitting that pitch a little bit. We're learning that he's hitting that a little bit. We're going to shy away from it. We're going to go slider inside, get it in off the plate. Good spot. And I'm tempted now to try to front door a sinker. Beautiful sequence. He had one pitch starting and going in, one pitch starting coming back. Boom, strikeout looking. And now Clemente, we're going to get him out. Change up away. Beautiful friggin' job. I told you we weren't letting up any more runs. We didn't do it. So it's one to one. Some flukiness. Roy still pitching pretty well. We are back ahead four to one. Bernie Williams again, this time a three run homer. Uh, I will say the connection hitting is awful. The pitchers are skipping. I can only imagine what it's like for him. There's a sinker that was horribly located, but it's because it was bad pinpoint. So it's 0 and 1. I want to go four seamer. Got to show him the four seamer. Every once in a while, you got to mix in the four seamer. I know a lot of people think that's the danger pitch, and I understand why, but you have to show it. Slider away because he keeps swinging at it. Beautiful. Know your opponents. That's one out. Roy Oswalt is kind of cooking. I'm a fan. Delivery is nice and fluid. He's got decent stuff. I wish he had a cutter. I don't think he threw one in real life, so it's probably fine that he doesn't have one sinker. And we're paused and we're frozen. There we go. Strike one. Let's, um, let's do something. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It delayed. It delayed my pinpoint. It's a really good pitch, if I'm being honest with you. That's not a big deal. Go a little slider here right at the kneecap. Thank you, sir. What do you feel about four seamers up? You like chasing these? Nope. Okay, he stared at that. So you know how you come back from that one? It looks like it's going to go the same exact height, and then it falls off the table. Goodbye. Ah, oh, he fouled it off. All right, good idea. Go to this back foot slider again, I guess. Uh-oh. Whew, we got lucky there. That did not go where I wanted, but the pitch sequencing was good. Does that say seven strikeouts already? That's wild. All right, little sinker on the outside corner. Nice spot. We're going to pitch him backwards this time. I'm going to do the same spot again. And now watch this. This could either be a homer or a called strike three, guys. I'm just letting you know. Front door slider. See you later. Oh, we almost had him peeking at it. You can tell by how late that swing was. I like that little backwards pitch sequencing. Up and in four seamer right on the corner, and we'll go hit again. Oh! Bad pinpoint, could take. Below the zone change piece. Corner to corner. We're working corner to corner. All right, he's fighting this at bat. I, I respect it. I respect it. I want to go 12-6, even with the zone, but outside. Oh, nice spot, baby. Let's go pitch or hit, whatever. Let's go keep playing. All right, boys and girls, this is a revenge inning. It was Utley, Aaron, and Mantle that killed us last time. It's not happening again. So four-seamer. Not quite all the way up, or all the way up. That's fine. He was late on it. 0-1. He has struggled thus far identifying the front door sinker. It was a terrible pinpoint, so it's not even a question. Not even a big deal. I want to change up, but I don't want to slam zone it. Okay, it was weak. It was a little oopy poopy, and we got one out. Very nice job. That's the pitch he hit with Mantle, so I'm not going to throw it to Mantle again. Hank Aaron had a weird hit last time. And he almost has a weird one again. 
but it was hit perfectly right to Mondesi. So two outs, this is a nice, easy, cruising through inning, but this, this is our guy right here. We're gonna pitch backwards. I'm gonna go 12-6 to start. That was a little too close to the plate. Oof, really too close to the plate. Back foot slider. Okay, and now we're gonna go with the fastball to end it. Instead of starting hard, going slow, we're starting slow, going hard. Some people appreciate tempo, if you know what I mean. And he's out of here on a Byron Buxton homer. Let's go get an event game in and we'll wrap up this video. All right, so obviously, guys, you know I prefer to do these videos on Hall of Fame in ranked seasons. That's what we did most of them on last year. It's a slow climb to get to Hall of Fame in the early stages of ranked. So we will get there, I promise. And the videos will hopefully be longer because our opponents won't rage quit because it'll be harder to score and such. But we're going to go to this event game right now. Probably two innings will be enough to put this video together. I think you guys have gotten a good idea of already how to pitch with him. But we'll see. We're facing YHVO, whoever the heck that is. Roy Oswald up and in the start. Okay, he's turning and burning. So, this is actually good. An opponent that's ready for the up and in fast stuff, that means we got to pitch a little differently. We're going to try doing that now. We're going to start staying away a little bit more. And we're going to be slower. So, change up to the lefty. Beautiful! He was so out in front of that. Two pitches, two outs. This guy knows we're trying to get multiple innings with Roy. Trying to help a brother out. Ooh, Michael Young, good batting average. But I also feel like he'll roll this over. Okay, good take, good spit. Let's just go back to the tried and true changeup. You know, honestly, if it's working. Oh, he hit the piss out of it, okay. It's not working. My opponent's not bad and he's pretty damn good with Michael Young. So runner on first, two outs. Got to get this next one here. It's Ken Griffey. That frightens me. Oh, bunt dance. Yep, that'll really affect me. Strike one. It affected you more, I think. Sinker below the zone. Little ground ball action. Jeebs. Yes, we'll throw it a second just because. Here you go. I'm going to go hit. I'll be right back. Quick little one nothing lead. Mike Trout hit like a 700-foot home run. His bat flip this year is just offensively good. Change up away to get another first pitch out. This guy is up here swinging. Swinging the bat. So now I'm going to try to start expanding the zone a little bit because I want to eliminate the chances of him just, like, lucking into one in the zone. Go back to this circle. Uh, not circle change. I'm sorry. Sinker. Oh, we got lucky there. We got very lucky there. He squared that ball up. Good swing. All right. So now I really want to get out of the zone. Slider, please miss. If it's a ball, it's fine. Totally fine. I needed him to get out of the rhythm of swinging. That's all that needed to happen there. Front door slider. Different look. Ooh, okay. That's not good. That was a very good pitch. 2-0. I mean, there's no way he's expecting this. 2-0, 12-6. He was not. That was a weird swing. 2-1, we're back in the count. I'm going to go four-seamer away, but not a slam zone. Maybe we'll get a pop-up. Oh, am I a wizard or what? I was like, hey, maybe we'll get a pop-up. Bingo, bango. Pop-up. Two innings through. No runs allowed. Maybe we can go three. All right, we're doing something for the content here. Normally, I would be taking Oswalt out. He's at yellow energy. He's thrown 12 pitches, which is shocking. But for the video, we're going to give him a try. That's a great first pitch out. I do have the bullpen up and firing just in case, but I think we're in good shape. We're going to try to 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 tickle the corners a little bit, kind of like we just did on that last pitch. I'm trying to avoid hard contact, of course. Sinker below. I mean, he's swinging, man. Swinging. Will Smith is a tiny guy. Maybe he'll offer at this. He tried to R2 me, but I'm too nice for that. Abso oh! How did that leave? That was like six feet above the zone. Okay, well, that's why you don't pitch with someone. <laughs> On yellow energy! I told you guys it was for the content. That was a yellow energy home run because that was above the zone. Oh, it wasn't as high as I thought. All right, let's just try to get out of it real quick and end this video on a high note. Don't want anything to get too weird here. And, of course, we're the home team, so we can walk it off. Oh, go ahead, bunt dance. Yeah, nice bunt dance, pal. Two outs. Overall, Roy has pitched very well. We've let up two runs in, I think, what's going to amount to six innings. It's kind of hard to be upset at that. I know the, the one in the ranked game was very fluky, and that was just a yellow energy homer. But there we go. We're through three. If I hit a walk-off homer, you guys get to see it. A bonus, a treat, a gift. Oh, Byron, walk-off fluky. I don't give a shit. We win. So all told, it was actually seven innings with Roy Oswalt. For some reason, I miscounted, thought it was six. 2-0. Oh. 
He let up two runs, a .71 whip, eight strikeouts in seven innings. I think all of that, or seven of the eight at least, were in the ranked game. Overall, he's really good. It is kind of interesting pitching to lefties with him. He's better against righties, in my opinion, but he still works. And if you complete Houston pretty soon, you can add him to your rotation while he is still a viable starting pitcher. I think you probably have another couple weeks out of him before the overalls start ramping up. But I think he's worth your time. I think he's worth the investment. Plus, if you finish the Astros, you get your Don Alvarez, who's one of the best bats in the game right now. That's going to do it for another How to Pitch With video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment down below which pitcher you want to see me trot out there next. We'll go see if we can win a few more games. Thank you guys for making it to the end. Love you all, and I'll see you next time.